Whether it's for anxiety or a health problem, cannabis use among older adults is increasing. And so are visits to the ER. Stanford researchers say that hit may be more than you bargained for. How much of a problem is cannabis use among older adults? This is certainly something that has been increasing over time. Older people who had used cannabis in the past are finding it to be part of relief. As folks age, they are dealing with all sorts of health concerns, everything from anxiety, difficulty sleeping, pain, and trying to find something to provide relief. We're also seeing a lot of accessibility. Times have changed, the potency has changed, and that's the problem for many older adults. Cannabis from the 1970s was 15 to 25 percent THC. These days at dispensaries, certain products can be 80, 90 percent THC. So it's really powerful and it causes somebody to use more and more. And with that use over and over again, what are the adverse effects? As an addiction psychiatrist, addiction is one of those. People who may have intended to use here or there or to help with this or that are then finding themselves using every day more than they had intended. Of course, with older populations, we want to be concerned with other impacts. Things can include COPD, exacerbation, which can happen when smoking cannabis, risk of falls, impact on memory, as well as gastrointestinal or stomach upset. When people come to you and say, I'm thinking about taking cannabis for my problems, what do you say to them? When it comes to psychiatry and mental health, there's really no guideline that recommends that any adult uses cannabis for any psychiatric or mental health reason. What is an evidence-based way of treating anxiety? That can include a combination of medication that is FDA approved. Also therapy goes such a long way and is much more sustainable than some of these quick fixes. For people who are still curious about cannabis, what are your words of advice in terms of not taking it or taking it? Just because something's legal doesn't mean that it's good for us. So basically, what, think twice? Think twice, yes.